I just appreciate you. I love you. I'm humbled by the experience that I had today, the stories that were shared. Hello, my name is Thunder Walker, and we have been live at the Thunder Walker Experience. Tonight has just been wonderful. I got a chance in Oklahoma City to really reach out to the weed moms, and I believe that they are the most powerful person in the room. And why do I say that? Because they have the ability to change the world. They influence children. They influence their spouses. They influence political powers. They influence education. We wanted to honor them today and everything that they do. We had some amazing women here that work in the industry and that also are patients and caregivers. It's time to stop for a moment and have a conversation with a weed mom. What I wanted to do is elevate the, the conversation. I wanted to talk about all the things that was hidden in the closet. First of all, being a weed mom, being a mom that works in the industry or consumes weed, it can be weaponized against you because people do not understand why you consume weed. They don't understand why you work in the industry. So for me, I wanted to take a moment and highlight those women and explain to them and the people around them that they are pioneers in this industry. They can move ahead and create a great business, a great career, and do well for their family if they're a single parent. They can have flex time, it gives them a lot of freedom. And if they are really, really serious, they can change someone's life just by knowing the plant and educating others. I want to call to action to go ahead and talk to your senators, talk to your congressmen, and most of all, talk to our governor. Let them know what's important to you as a mom. You have the power to move forward. And I want to make sure that you understand that energy. Tonight was amazing. We had some wonderful speakers. We had beautiful people just enjoying each other. We had two moms that really, really talked about their story. One was a love story and one was a story of being an entrepreneur. We had Senator Connie Johnson here and she talked about being the cause for change. And she talked about how she brought 788 here and it's now our responsibility to keep that power and that energy moving forward. We had Gina here from Dope Women and Weed and she has been working for four years to empower women in Oklahoma. And last but not least, we had Chung Lee here representing all of her nation. I thought that was so important because she, got, she had a chance to speak about compliance and about opening a business and the stigma that she had in her own community, the Hmong community, about being in the cannabis industry. We wanted to make sure that we touched on all the subjects, all the taboo subjects, and bring you bright and intelligent women. I loved it. It was so much fun, and I think everybody that was in the room was empowered by it. I am Candy Flores, and I'm from Corpus Christi, Texas. We're here in Oklahoma City with Thunder Walker Experience, and I am Courage in Cannabis. I'm an author in book one and in book two. So Courage in Cannabis is uh, an anthology book. It's, um, Dr. Bridget Williams is our visionary author. And we are authors that share our stories on how cannabis changed our lives. Uh, many of us have been saved by the plant. Uh, a lot of us have um, just been able to live a normal life uh, with a better quality of life. And we fight for this because why should it be our last resort? We want to be able to help others and educate them and, and be their voice. So for myself, uh, being on 18 prescription medicines as well as a morphine pump, uh, cannabis, after all that you know, changed, changed my life, I was able to get off the 18 pharmaceuticals as well as uh, overcome my withdrawals that I went through with the emergency surgery that they had to remove my morphine pump. Actually, without cannabis, I wouldn't be here today. Um, you know, being able to fight the addiction, uh, the withdrawal symptoms after the morphine pump, I, I wouldn't have been here. You know, I was definitely in a dark place and many times I didn't want to live anymore because that quality of life was just ruining not only myself, but my family, my health, uh, my surroundings. I would just add that you know, for people to stand up and, you know, 
be a voice for others and even if they're not using at least they could educate themselves and be able to support all of us as authors sharing our stories because it it takes courage to do this and it's you know it's a healing journey it's not something that we are healed you know completely from we still suffer and it's still a, you know we go day by day with this journey we can be reached at courageandcannabis.com that's our website and each each author has a landing page on the website so if you click on um, the author's profile you'll be able to get a hold of each individual author or you can also email us at courageandcannabis at gmail.com um, and i'm also available on instagram at canflow710 my name is Danielle Simone Brand. We're here at the Thunderwalker Experience, um, Weed Moms, and uh, I'm thrilled to have been invited by Thunderwalker to come and speak this evening. It's, uh, it's truly a privilege since I wrote my book, Weed Mom, a couple of years ago, and it came out a few, a few years ago. I've been just, I've had the privilege of speaking to a lot of different people about this subject, and I'm passionate about cannabis for moms for a lot of different reasons. Um, one is that as a journalist, as I began learning about cannabis several years ago, I found that women and moms in particular were telling me that the plant had helped them immensely in so many different parts of their lives. Sometimes it helped them with sick children. Um, they were also telling me it helped them with their chronic pain, with their um, mental health, with PTSD, anxiety, depression, real you know issues in our day and age, and um, especially among younger people and moms right now, there's really an epidemic of anxiety, I would say. Um, so the fact that so many women and moms were telling me their really positive stories about cannabis uh, started to, to change my mind. I had some outdated notions about the plant prior to that, and honestly, I didn't think it was medicine um, because I didn't know, you know, I just didn't understand. So now that I, um, well, once, once I, my interest was piqued. I went on my own personal exploration journey, found it to be transformative for myself as a mother, as a partner, just as a human being, honestly. And so I keep talking about it and I keep writing about it. And my book came out, as I said, in 2020. And, um, you know, I'm also really feel privileged to contribute to Courage in Cannabis. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful book put together by people who truly care about the plant, care about patients, care about people's quality of life, and that's something I can get behind. You can find me uh, if, if you're interested, if you want me to say that, at Danielle Simone Brand, that's my website, or at Danielle Simone Brand on Instagram. And um, yeah, we're, we're out here just trying to change minds and you know, help open people's hearts to this, this transformative plant. So thanks for being part of it. I'm Senator Connie Johnson, retired and native of Oklahoma and the author of Oklahoma's original medical cannabis legislation in 2005, 2007. Um, I was the um, leader, the shepherd, the bring all the people together, the mother of the movement that finally resulted in us legalizing it, the people legalizing medical cannabis in 2018, state question 788. And um, I've watched with interest because it was a statutory amendment to see how this legislature has responded, uh, their most egregious attacks coming this year uh, in terms of the, the proposals that have been made that actually set us back from what we intended in state question 788. I'm still on this mission, on this cause, because I know that the people of Oklahoma have the power. Their stories are powerful. And when we can help them realize that and then start to tell those stories in ways that touch and reach policymakers to hopefully get them to do the right thing. But when they don't do the right thing, that these same people will either run for office themselves or promote candidates who do support our drop dead issue. Cannabis was put here by God for his people, for good. And I've seen thousands of cases of where this has been a life changing experience for children, for families, for people who are dying, for veterans with PTSD. I'm committed to helping folks 
appreciate that, but then act on it. Tonight is, I believe, another version of advocacy. And advocacy literally does always and should come together around an issue. The, the backdrop issue here in terms of women in the cannabis space, um, cannabis moms, weed moms, the book, is that women in particular are facing some challenges that I didn't realize existed. I didn't realize that women, among other things in Oklahoma, where we are continually disparaged, are being disparaged either for being professionals in the cannabis space or being mothers in the cannabis space. And they're being threatened by the Department of Human Services Child Welfare on a regular basis with taking people's children away. I didn't know this. So today's episode, today's experience, the Thunder Walker experience, was really about raising awareness about that. Not just raising awareness, but giving people the motivation, the information they need to not get mad, but to get even. To literally now, taking what we know, having shared with so many with the common background and experience, taking that as a group and now acting to get the legislature straight, to get them educated, and if that doesn't work, to get them out of there.